From Rio's Earth Summit in 1992 to Rio Plus 20 and new hurdles on the path to fair and sustainable global development. Today, a billion and a half more people are using and abusing the environment. Governments are reeling from the global economic crisis. And the gap between rich and poor is getting wider. If we continue our wasteful ways, by 2050, almost 4 billion people will live in areas experiencing severe water stress. The world, largely China and India, will need 80% more energy, most of it based on fossil fuels. Greenhouse gas emissions will remain stable in OECD countries and Russia, more than double in the rapidly growing BRICS, and rise in the rest of the world, increasing globally over 50%, pushing the Earth's temperatures up 3 to 6 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. Farming, sprawling cities, logging, and climate change could reduce biodiversity and mature forests by another 10%. Air pollution, particulates ground level ozone, and unhealthy indoor air will be the top environmental cause of early deaths worldwide, with the rate tripling to 3.6 million per year. In other words, current growth patterns are not sustainable. There's only one way forward going green to boost global economic growth. The OECD has a range of tools to help, including indicators to measure progress, pricing natural resources and making pollution more costly are key to solving economic, social and environmental concerns. For governments, carbon taxes and auction permits could raise $250 billion per year by 2020 and removing subsidies to fossil fuel production and use would reduce emissions and free up funds to improve education and health care. Aid from donor countries, more than five billion dollars every year for environmental protection, with technology transfer, trade, and investment, and more financial support can give all countries a fair chance to grow green. For private businesses, green investments can improve the balance sheets and the environment. At Rio Plus 20, governments must make good on their promise of greener, more sustainable, equitable growth. We want an economy, we want a society, we want an environment which will make sure that the future generations will have this planet to enjoy.